You're watching The Wellness Hour. I'm Randy Alvarez. News that makes you healthier. Today's topic, how sunblock, uh, by putting sunblock on your children, you could be making them sick and even possibly, according to my first cast, making them more susceptible to things like cancer. With us, uh, we have Dr. Gould. Is that, is that right? You believe that? And well, it's not whether I believe it or not. That, that We have a lot of scientific studies that show what happens when you filter all the vitamin D out of people. So when people think about sunscreen, first of all, we can't get away from this message that if we go in the sun without sunscreen, we're gonna get cancer. And part of that message is true, but sunscreen is actually, can be, it can be very dangerous because what it does is it filters both UVA radiation and UVB radiation from our bodies. Now people need to understand that there's a big difference. UVB radiation is what hits our skin and in the deepest layer causes us to actually create the melanin that gives us protection against radiation. UVA radiation goes further into our, into our bodies and actually causes mutations in our DNA. So when people say the sun causes cancer, that's absolutely true, but this is normal. We have a system of scavenging for all these, these um, areas that, that become um, cancerous or precancerous is that we have T cells and B cells and the cells of our immune system, they circulate our body constantly on the lookout for these mutations which happen all the time. The big problem is that these cells and how they function is a hugely attached to vitamin D status. When your vitamin D level is really low, these immune cells, they don't defend against cancer. And so here we have parents putting the sunscreen on their kids who are already vit vitamin D deficient to begin with. And there they're being exposed to UVA and UVB radiation. The first thing that's happening is they're not burning either. And that burn is a sign to tell your body, stay out of the sun. So it's giving their bodies the wrong signals. So, so the kids need a base, a little bit of a base so they don't get a burn, right? Well, it's, it's actually, it's more complex and less complex. If your vitamin D level is up over 50 or 60, you will not burn in the same way because having that higher level allows your body- So if body, they supplement with vitamin D? Yes. Like you're telling parents, yes. supplement your children with vitamin it's D, maybe so, 5,000 yeah. IU? Well, would you, so you've got to check with your, your pediatrician who won't give you the same advice and that's why this message that I'm giving is so hard okay. to get your mind around is traditional medical doctors don't know this. You have to go to an alternative medical doctor, a functional medicine doctor or a naturopath who understands that vitamin D supplements are not toxic. The medical industry tells us that anything over 4,000 IU is toxic with no proof to back that up. So you have to find somebody who understands what vitamin D is to be able to get your child to the right level. And you have to test multiple times because you want to, don't want to go over. It, it would be easier if we just put your kids out into the sunshine. And what's supposed to happen is, is in the spring, as the sun gets higher in the sky, we start to build up our tan, which is our mother nature sunscreen. The problem is when you throw somebody outside after being inside all winter, you're, they don't have the ability to filter out that sun and so many things can go wrong. So the real key is to have a vitamin D level over 50 and to use sunscreen, especially on your face, and to use a hat and just keep in mind that- so only the areas you don't want to get wrinkled. Or well, sunscreen. well um, you want to put it, it just depends on the situation. You want to put, basically we always say put sunscreen on your face because it's most exposed. You don't make that much vitamin D from sun exposure on your face. You really need to have more okay. of your body or torso exposed. What about but, tanning salons? It's a little bit dangerous um, because, Why? well, the beds, they're not designed to give you the best vitamin D boosting radiation. They're designed to make your skin turn color. And it's the UVB radiation that allows you to make melanin. UVA radiation, which is what these focus more on, it actually toasts the melanin in your skin to turn it a darker color. You're still getting that UVA radiation. So, so. there are some sun beds that are more appropriate for vitamin D, but the, the movement for so vitamin you want D the tanning high beds. high vitamin D beds. I yeah. mean, I'm sorry, high vitamin or UVB rays. UVB, yeah, and, and it's okay. hard to find out because most places don't understand that the difference between UVA and UVB is what's critical in vitamin D production. I'm pretty sure in the future that the tanning places will have specific lower energy UVB beds specifically to raise your vitamin okay, D. Okay, so don't put sunblock on your kids. That's, Only to avoid burns. No. So we want to do something called safe sun exposure. And you can go and Google this online and you, look, you can look it up. There's many doctors who describe this. So what is it? How much? Safe sun exposure is 10 to 15 minutes out in the sun between the hours of 10 and 3 when it's sunny with more torso exposed. You have to be in shorts or even with no shirt. And if you lay, lay on one side, 10, 15 minutes on the other side, just the amount before you start to get pink and burn, you can get 10, 20,000 IU of vitamin D. But again, it's more complicated because 
There's something else people don't know about is that some of the foods that we eat will restrict the amount of vitamin D we make on our skin. So you may be Which getting sun another exposure. Topic. Another to all other topic. All in your book? Covered in your book? Yes, sir. This well. is all covered in my book. The details of sunscreen and why you should be judicious about using it, but what you need to know about it, the details are in my book, and it's more than I can get across on a, on a short television segment, but, but, but you but, want to know this information. Uh, you told me at one point, yes, on, on another interview, that you've seen that, that by raising kids' vitamin D levels, sometimes their ADD can go away. Absolutely. Is that right? 100%. You can just Google vitamin What's D deficiency. What's the connection? The connection. Give me the dummy down version. Dummy, we have about 45 it's, seconds it's, left. The dummy down connection is high vitamin D is good sleep. Good sleep is proper interaction of all the chemicals that keep us healthy. ADD is a specific response to what happens to a child who doesn't sleep enough. Someone who sleeps interrupted all night long is a grumpy child. That's ADD. They can't behave. Okay, interesting. Just by giving vitamin D, you'll improve their sleep because this is the time you may shrink the, their tonsils and allow for better air exchange just while they're sleeping. Just look into, look into the throats of your children. If you see enlarged tonsils, go to your pediatrician and ask for a vitamin D test. Okay. Your child is going to be deficient, but your pediatrician may even argue with you. All right. I want to thank you for coming on the show. Thank you Hot very topic. much. topic, we'll have you back. Thanks again. You've been watching The Wellness Hour. I'm Randy Alvarez. For now, I wish you could help.